Looks like the city's Department of Education is going to miss a crucial deadline. A new law we first told you about in January requires the city to install GPS devices on every school bus. We're less than a month away from the first day of class, and parents say they're still in the dark about school bus safety. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner reports. Workers are prepping PS 77 on 3rd Avenue for the first day of school. But what isn't getting an upgrade? New York City school buses. In January, legislation was passed that mandated the city equip its nearly 10,000 buses with GPS tracking for the 2019 2020 school year so parents can monitor their children's whereabouts. I just can't see another school year go by where parents don't know where the, their kids are. Councilman Ben Kalos first introduced the law back in 2014. It finally advanced this year after the freak November snowstorm that paralyzed city streets and had children sitting on school buses without food, water, or a bathroom for hours. Back then, the mayor said... I never want to see public school parents have to go through what they went through last night. So this spring, nine different vendors submitted proposals to the city to develop a bus tracking app. In May, Kalos asked the school's chancellor if it would meet this year's deadline. He said... So we're not going to be late with our homework. We're going to get it right. The Department of Education declined to speak with us on camera, but by email says it's a priority to install the best system on the buses, and it's finalizing a contract. It's outrageous. As a parent of a child who has trouble speaking, it's heartbreaking to put her on the bus and not know exactly where she is. They expect that all the rest of the citizens of New York have to follow the local laws of New York City, but somehow or other the Department of Education didn't bother to follow the law. The DOE says they'll finalize a contract soon. Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News. The councilman says the Department of Education asked to meet with him. While time is running out, he says he's hopeful the city can still implement software, even though in the most basic format for the start of the school year.